chronic kidney disease um, is fairly common in the US. Uh, the kidneys help filter the waste products from the body. And chronic kidney disease, the reason we're worried about it is it could progress to kidney failure. And then uh, the only way to take care of kidney disease at that time point is uh, either dialysis or get a kidney transplantation. So when uh, we talk about the prevalence of kidney disease, uh, a lot of people don't realize that one in seven U.S. adults have kidney disease, and that's about 15% of the population. So fairly, fairly rampant. And what worries us is uh, kidney disease uh, is one of those things that's considered like high blood pressure, one of those silent killers. So up to two out of five of our patients don't even realize they have kidney disease. And uh, when you extrapolate the numbers and you see uh, the population where kidney disease is prevalent, it's really in the minority population. So uh, such that uh, if you look at Black Americans, for instance, in the U.S., uh, Blacks make up 13% of the U.S. population. But when it comes to our patients who have kidney failure and needing dialysis, 35% of our patients on dialysis are Blacks. So really, this raises you know, uh, the bar for us in terms of what we need to do to fight kidney disease and keep our patients healthy. And uh, right there in the state of Georgia, where you are, about 30,000 people are on dialysis in the state of Georgia. And so I think, uh, I think uh, those numbers, when you look at the black population in Georgia uh, of about 3.3 million people representing about a third of Georgia population makes uh, all the statistics, statistics even more um, uh, significant. And so uh, quite uh, the prevalence is, is pretty much there. Yes, uh, kidney disease disproportionately affects uh, Hispanics and Blacks and other minority population. Uh, and the reason is the things that lead to kidney damage and progressive kidney disease like high blood pressure and diabetes are fairly rampant in our minority population. And so by the time we help care providers, specifically kidney care providers, see them, it's a little bit late in the game. So you don't get symptoms when you have kidney disease early in the process. The kidney disease is fairly advanced by the time it begins to show up. And for people who don't have access to care, right, uh, this becomes a bit of a challenge. So meaning, are you getting your blood pressure checked regularly? Are you, check, are you uh, having your sugar checked regularly? And if access to uh, the ability to have primary care is not there, then you know we deal with a bigger uh, problem. Uh, of course, as you very well know, uh, overweight, obesity is fairly common in our minority population. And uh, you have quite a bit of strong family history of inheritance too of kidney disease. So all of those things uh, certainly play a big role. And uh, then when you, when you transition to those things that we like to do for our patients when they come to see us, being sure that we provide as much education to them about kidney disease and how to slow down progression of kidney disease so they don't end up with kidney failure. Uh, we do the best we can in our office settings. We uh, have our patients uh, uh, leave us temporarily. We set up a follow-up appointment for them, but then there are huge, huge barriers to care. Uh, that's especially uh, very rampant in our uh, minority population, uh, such that, you know, in many instances, when we see them in three months time or six months time when they come for follow-up appointment, uh, we see their disease has progressed some. And, uh, you know, and when you ask them the things that they point out, access to medications, uh, uh, transportation challenges, a few of those things make it such that even though we're doing the best we can to care for them, uh, we're not able to successfully slow down that progression of kidney disease. So um, finding people who have the same uh, mindset or have the ability to actually partner with us to provide excellent care for these patients uh, especially in this uh, arena, we call value-based care is of absolute importance. And that's where a company such as Somatis comes in, uh, where we partner with them to find ways to slow down progression of kidney disease. And what do they do? Uh, simple things, but that you and I will look at and say, well, this just makes a lot of sense. And a lot is because our patients don't even know that their insurances can pay for a few of these things. So when we partner with uh, uh, value-based care companies, those things that we don't necessarily have control over as healthcare providers, uh, a company such as Somatos that provides value-based care can help along those lines.